Hello everyone, welcome to one more video. Today we're going to visit another beautiful destination, Zhangjiang. It is a city located in the southernmost part of the Chinese mainland and southwest of Guangdong province. Nowadays we live fast speed lives. Every time it's more and more common to go to the supermarket and find all kinds of pre-packaged foods that make our lives easier and more convenient. From chicken to fish to some more elaborated dishes like pizza and other well-known dishes. Chinese food is not the exception, and today we will explore some companies that are making an exceptional job making this type of dishes. We will experience and explore the whole industry chain of pre-prepared food, and we will see some of the dishes for a Chinese New Year's Eve dinner, like fish, shrimp, and chicken. Our first stop is the Research and Development Center of Evergreen Group, which is one of the top 500 private companies in China. They have a lot of seafood products uh, like shrimps and scallops, and here in China it's super popular having this kind of snack. Makes our seafood like these uh, shrimps, pre-prepared food, snacks, frozen foods like you can see on my back. So all these products are produced here in Changjiang by Evergreen Foods. And since the Spring Festival is coming, Evergreen is also making some special packaging for the Chinese New Year. You can see all these red color boxes with a Chinese culture theme and designs on the boxes. They are committed to providing safe, nutritious and healthy food to people and improving living standards. The annual capacity of Evergreen conglomerate can reach more than 30,000 tons with the output value of more than 1 billion yuan. They also have here a small kitchen where they prepare their foods to check the tasting and all the textures and all the different qualities of the different products they are making here. So right now we're going to have a chef who will explain us how to prepare one of their uh, products in this little kitchen. The company develops a variety of aquatic products, which are sold to large and medium-sized cities in China and several foreign countries and regions such as the United States, the European Union, Canada, Russia, Australia, Japan, South Korea and Southeast Asia. These are the CP Group facilities. Currently, the group has investments in 21 countries and economies. This is a modern agricultural comprehensive development base that carries out operations in three major projects, including chickens and aquatic products. And we are now at the experience center of the CP Group here in Zhangjiang, and we are learning about the different types of technologies this group is using to produce the different uh, type of foods. One of the most amazing parts that I have to say really impressed me is about the different uh, processes for the safety of their product. Uh, they have here a little demonstration. They have a small isolation center for every single person who goes to visit the farms. They need to stay there for 48 hours in order to do all the tests and make sure they are clean and it's safe to visit this place. Even the employees, even the CEO needs to stay there for two days before going to the farming centers. At present, the products are being sold in Zhangjiang, the Pearl River Delta region and other target markets. It also cultivates distinctive agricultural products, helping local farmers and social breeding farms upgrading their facilities. They also provide relevant technical support. And next to the experience center we have this kind of like small shop where they have they are displaying all their products and you can actually feel like going to the supermarket. You can just actually uh, open the doors and take the different products they have here. Uh, take a look to the variety of products like uh, seafood, they have chicken, they have pork. And it's super cool because it looks exactly just like a regular uh, supermarket or like a convenience store where you go and actually purchase uh, this kind of frozen product. We're coming to the kitchen to prepare some delicious dishes 
delicious steaks here. As you can see, they're beautiful prepared. I have no expertise whatsoever cooking, but today it's been a fun experience. There are some pre-prepared dishes already, and we are here with my friend Nestle, who is also uh, trying some dishes. Hello, Nestle, how's the experience of cooking here? Great. Are you enjoying Great. it? Yeah, enjoy it. I was not expecting to find such a wonderful place. This is kind of a museum or an exhibition of different type of arts. It's displaying a lot of traditional uh, Chinese art or expression of the culture. In this hall, this area, you can see like a lot of little smiley Buddhas, which are super nice. And we can see also some like lions that are used for the lion dances. Very typical here. In China, we can see a lot of huge, beautiful sculptures, paintings, lamps, uh, a lot of expression of arts that are really stunning. And they're all, all very well preserved uh, in this kind of like a uh, big hall. I am really speechless at ah, this such a beautiful place. You know, I'm used to the lifestyle in modern cities, but then you travel to these kind of places and you're like, wow, how could I never be here? They know how to design these kind of places, how to combine the lining, the materials, the colors. And you can see this is like a handcraft store, like a huge one with beautiful displays of art and an exhibitions of uh, local people who make all these products here but they're beautifully displayed combining with lining with music if you can hear uh, the background music a company focused in food production and sales cultural tourism and education development. They have a strong food research and development team, having long-term cooperation with Guangdong Ocean University and other colleges. They are committed to grow into a model enterprise of leisure culture and tourism industry in China. These are the facilities of Guolian Group, a company focused on aquaculture industry and supplying people with healthy marine food. Products like shrimp, tilapia, and crayfish are processed here and are distributed in China and abroad to more than 40 countries and regions. We are right now in Guolian Enterprises. They've been working during the COVID-19 time with small entrepreneurs to work along with them because small entrepreneurs during these times cannot sell their products in small markets. So what they've been doing is purchase so they can distribute them in a more efficient way and safer way to the smaller markets, restaurants, to ensure a safe product for all around the country. You can see right now there is a huge pump of water under construction that will provide 150,000 gallons of water per day to the Wallian facilities in the other side, which means they're gonna make an even bigger facility. In recent years, the company investment in upstream resources in the supply chain and the industrial technology innovations has become the driving force of their continued growth. To achieve the successful transformation of the kitchen dishes to industrial manufacturing, they have upgraded the automated intelligence processing technology. You 
you can see a lot of products. They make different areas for exhibition. They send these kind of products all around the world. This is the area for exporting products. This is the local or domestic market. And they also have another kind of products for the online sellings here in these very factories. One of the most modern they have all around China. Behind me, the map of different places. They have different uh, offices like in India, Mexico, Malaysia, and of course the main headquarters here in China. Here, kind of like the last stage of all this food chain process, they're counting with the latest technology of robots and mechanical arms. They are in charge of taking all the boxes from this area here into the exits that we can see behind me. So these exits here are connected to the trailer trucks that will take all the products to maybe like seaports, airports, and sending all around the world. They're also kind of using less and less uh, human intervention in these kind of processes because they have all these robots that are making all the process faster and more efficient. This is Yutang Fu, an ecological farm engaged in catering, food processing, organic farming, and leisure projects. This company has nearly a thousand employees, with business spanning Guangdong, Guangxi, Hainan, Fujian, and other regions. Yutang Fu has experienced staff, including national first class technicians, superior food safety administrators, and dietitians. They rely on a high standard management system and standard production processes. Yutangfu has carried out street control and rigorous production of each process from raw materials to finished products. This was a short visit to some of the most successful examples that Southern China has when it comes to pre-prepared food technologies. We have seen that they can with world-class facilities, equipments, technologies and professional teams in order to offer high-quality products not just to China but the whole world. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the beautiful Zhangjiang city in Guangdong province. What are your comments and impressions of this place and the delicious food they are producing here? I'd love to read your thoughts. That's it for today, thanks for watching and with that I will see you in the next one. Bye bye! Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day today and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time. And I've got this very cool hat that I'm gonna keep because we're gonna have a very nice dinner tonight, so this is gonna be my outfit. What do you think, Netflix? Mm, yeah, you look cute. <laughs>